So Verizon decided to bring the unlimited data plan back. They have unlimited everything, pretty much. If you get one line, it's 80 bucks. I guess that's comparable to what they had before. Now, the reason why they did this, because obviously T-Mobile were competing. T-Mobile had, and still, to this day, T-Mobile has a, a much better plan. You get four lines of T-Mobile for the same deal, with four lines for 40 bucks. And taxes and fees are included. Here is 45, but if you read the five print, it's the fine print says plus taxes and fees when you enroll in auto pay. So you got to pay the taxes and fees on top of this 45. T Mobile plan is 40 bucks, and taxes and fees are included. And you get unlimited uh, everything. And on top of that, you also get unlimited in tethering. Here, I'm sure they don't have tethering, but I could be wrong. But either way, T-Mobile plans are still a lot better. But this is just enough to, to get those loyal Verizon customers to say, okay, you're somewhat doing the right thing. So, I don't know if it's going to be enough to, uh, to get the remaining customers to stop, which it probably would. But I guarantee you, those that already left, probably they might come back or they probably say, you know what, this is still a better deal. I guess it all depends on how uh, the service is in their area. So this is just a, 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 an example of what a good competitive market is. When you don't have one company controlling everything. Obviously the top four are still AT&T, Verizon, T-Mobile, and Sprint. Um, AT&T and Verizon are, you know... Are decent companies and T-Mobile is just as is just as good. So I don't know if this is gonna be. This is definitely good for everybody because AT and T. I'm sure are gonna say, "Wow, we losing customers. We got to do something too." Watch if AT and T jumps on board with something similar. I will make a video about it. But until then, this is what you get for those who are curious. I saw the ad yesterday. Says then they said tomorrow. Uh, so I guess today will be the day they reveal it, and it is. Um, just a note real quick, though. Now, this is actually not bad when you go to the four lines. However, when you go to the two, if you're not a, a heavy data user, two gigabyte plan is actually not that bad because you still get unlimited talking text. But they have something called a safety mode. So basically, once you go over your two gigs, you still have unlimited, but at reduced speed. And this speed is probably like anywhere from 2 to 3G or something like that. So you still will get data, but it's slow. Again, it's not bad if you don't go over two gigs. But let's say that one month you do go over, it's going to be very slow until the remaining of the ability cycle. However, like I said, if it's a rare occasion, what well, doesn't matter, especially if it's, you know, you're going to get the data, but it's just going to be slow. But if you if you go a little bit over two more than often, then this plan is not so bad for 50 bucks a month. Uh, and this is what, and this is for, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah. Okay, yeah, so for 50 bucks a month, this is not bad either. And again, safety mode. So when you go over the four gigs, it's not going to be, you know, we get an overage. They're not going to cut it off. You're still going to get your data, but it's still good. It's just going to be slow for 50 bucks a month. Again, it's not bad for one line. And if you really want to go, I mean, at this point, you probably should lean over to the unlimited, but 70 bucks a month is not bad. I personally, for the 10 bucks extra, especially if I'm a heavy data user, I will probably lean towards the unlimited. Because at this point, it's, you know, eh, but I'll probably lean, eh, it depends. Just knowing the fact that it's unlimited, it's like a attractive. But if you definitely go over two, this is definitely the plan. You're saving so much more money. Now, if you're able to get more than four people or four people or more then 45 bucks is very attractive very attractive now that's along line with these two now if between the 45 you can get 45 
if I could pay 45 bucks, I will probably use the unlimited. Especially if you're at this level where you're paying 50 bucks for one line. So there you have it. These are the different uh, plans here. Um, this is the newest one right here, the unlimited. Just look into it, especially if you get four lines. Especially if you get four lines. Now, if you already have unlimited data, then hey, you might want to look into it because this actually might be cheaper than your current unlimited plan. Look into it real quick before you... Because uh, some people are, are like have these old plans, especially with these tiers, and they didn't know. They didn't know. Like I know some people who didn't know about these, and they had like a two gigabyte plan. They're like, oh wait a minute, the two gigabyte plan costs more, and if you go over, you pay a fee. Where this plan is is perfect. Now it says thirty five, but you're actually paying uh twenty uh twenty dollars extra per line. Look into that because I think that goes for all of them. So you're paying uh twenty dollars extra for the line charge or something like that. I think that's what they explained to me. So this is really, you're really paying 55 plus taxes. Same thing with here, you're gonna pay 70 plus tax. Here you're gonna pay 90 plus tax. Here, I'm sure it's gonna be the same thing per line. So 